is a heck of a situation. I got a tag here from mine. Hopefully I pronounced that right, but probably not. Uh, he says, Hero, hey, I just wanted to let you know that I have become a victim to an NFT scam. Basically, my art got stolen and used for a scam NFT project. I need your help as I'm just a small time artist having my hard work used for an NFT without my knowledge. So this was actually about 19 hours ago when I got tagged here. Uh, I generally hop on Twitter in the morning and then get off for the rest of the day for, for the most part. But uh, I'm taking a look at this now and there are some updates and the updates are both good and bad. But let me give you the rest of the context before we get into that. So mine continues here and he essentially says that his art has been stolen. It's an abuse of his intellectual property. And again, they're trying to use it for some NFT stuff. And apparently the company doing this, at least their Twitter account here, is Gun Mania. He goes on to say that he found out about this via an anonymous email tip that came in. And a lot of the works produced were from three years ago at his stay at Richland College in Dallas, Texas. Furthermore, he says most of the work can be found here. I presume his website, mynhk.net, all the signatures and everything. He goes on to say he doesn't know if this is an elaborate joke on him for being a small time artist, but it's getting even more outrageous. Apparently there are YouTubers involved with the stolen artwork as well, and they're collabing to make it a limited edition or something like that. In my opinion, this is not an elaborate joke. This looks like a company trying to make money off stolen artwork and YouTubers involved that are not vetting the company that they're collabing with. Personally, that's why I almost never collab with companies. I really am picky with who I work with. Or maybe they are they maybe they are vetting them and they just don't care that they're working with a scummy company or what seems to be a scummy company. And now we're gonna get into the emails. He says, the emails have been sent and received. They have stopped and removed all the stolen artwork from their website. However, their Reddit, Twitter, and Facebook are still up. I want to make this as transparent as possible here. So here are the emails between us and our agreement. I was not in a happy mood with the email, but it is good that they have dropped the act and leave my work alone. I do not want my work to be monetized or getting any of their dirty money for the damages, only my work to be recognized and for everyone to enjoy. This doesn't end. I'll never sleep soundly again. The more I keep digging, the more I can't stop. A page from their white paper PDF file using my OC of my personal project Stranded Land. His name is Grit, not Congo, and he belongs to Stranded Land, not yours. And you can see mine's art right here. There's Grit. So apparently they take this character, they rename him Congo. What? And then try to sell it as an NFT or something. Dude, what the heck? Uh, now we'll take a look at the emails. So I've already read through these emails and I think we're missing a little bit of the context, but we'll take a look at what we got here. I also think that the emails were posted out of order on Twitter. So I'm going to read the middle one first, then the first one, and then the third one. So two, one, three. Finally, some of the grammar is a bit rough. Not trying to drag anyone. My grammar isn't great. Just letting you know that in case you're audio only and you're not reading along with us. That's why it sounds like that. Now, continuing. Apparently this is Gun Mania's response. Hi, mine. Good day. On behalf of the Gun Mania team, we sincerely apologize for what transpired to your artwork. We understand what you are feeling right now, but please do hear out our explanation. We bought those artworks on Fiverr, believing that the seller was you, and to our fault, we missed to verify it more, as we have already settled that everything is fine and taken care of. However, we were not fully aware of this until today, when someone raised this concern. We do not support any kind of theft, especially with regards to artworks, as we know that those things take time and real passion. We are reaching out to you through this email in hopes that we may find a ground for both of us to benefit in the future and work this out as the project is currently near its release. We are willing to compensate for this carelessness in any way that we can resolve this issue. Hoping to hear from you soon. Again, the whole team of Gun Mania is sincerely sorry for this issue. Regards, Gun Mania team. Mine says, Gun Mania team, your spamming bot is no joke, all right. Here's my response, which cost me eight hours of sleep. Would you kindly remove your entire operation from this instance? I do not want my art to be marketed as NFT like this. I have made a Fiverr account in the past for art commission, but soon stopped using it, and I have never put my work there for sale since. When I checked, all of the work came from my ArtStation account. So for you to bring out a valid reason that you rightfully purchased them under my false aliases without even verifying it is beyond my own reasoning. Clearly, you are thinking I was born yesterday. Since if you have purchased them on Fiverr, one, Provide me a purchase link or receipt of those transactions. Two, give me proof of your Fiverr transaction history and make it public, even if you fake it. What? Uh, three, present a document with my signature stating that I did give you the right to sell my artwork. Let me stop there for a moment. Um, I just want to say that, it, you know, if, if someone is selling this guy's artwork on Fiverr, then that's a whole other issue he's also got to worry about. So that's uh, another headache. Uh, moving on. I never agree with this, to be clear. They were never, although let me also say, going back to the Fiverr thing, it does sound like that might be a lie, just completely made up. But anyways, continuing again. 
I never agree with this to be clear. There were no contracts, no signatures, and I'm not even aware uh, of or heard about your project until now. If there is no signature recognized by me, I will never accept it as a legally binding contract. I counted the work that are stolen. Faction design design, Dreamweaver, Stranded, Space Pirate, Sketch Dump, uh, Character Design Practice, Omi. I do not care about negotiation or how much you want to buy this out. I want the site down ASAP and the art will no longer be up for sale on your NFT platform. I may not have much knowledge, but I will consult my lawyer about this since this is clearly exploiting intellectual property. There will be no ground for you to stand on since your team has violated my creative rights. These are my characters, which I am building up for my comic project and no one in this world will make a profit out of my labor. I will keep spreading my words through my connection. Your team surely giving a bad name to NFT. This is not an issue. This is disrespect. No amount of apology will cover this. Again, take the site down. And the final email posted, Gunmania responding again. They say, hi, mine. We understand how you feel, but we are also victims. However, to fully close this issue, disrespectfulness out, we'll be complying to your terms as we have initially planned to do. We were not going to offer you any amount from the beginning, as we will be cooperating with whatever terms you may wish from the moment we sent the previous email. Actions to be taken by the team are as follows. One, we'll be taking down the website to fully remove any art that is involved with you. You may check it in the link below. Two, NFTs, no NFTs were minted with your artwork as we were in the development stage. Three, Telegram, posts and pin messages from Telegram with your artwork will also be deleted. Four, YouTube, we will be communicating with those who reviewed our project to remove the videos that involved your artwork from their channels. Five, social media accounts will be removing all involvement with your artwork. Six, if you ever see your artwork that is related to us in the future, kindly let us know so we can reach out to that person to take it down. We hope to hear your acknowledgement for these actions that we're going to take. Again, we sincerely apologize and hope for the success of your future endeavors regards Gunmania team. Now, it's really weird to me that they're trying to claim that they're also victims in this situation. For one, as we mentioned already, the whole Fiverr situation sounds really odd. But you know what? For argument's sake, let's say they're not lying about that. Let's go with it. Well, I don't see how that really excuses them from still operating in that fashion. They're trying to run a business here, right? So should they not put more effort forward into vouching that the artists that they're buying art from are actually the, the, the artists? It's not just stolen art. That seems like one of the main things they'd have to do in running this sort of operation. And if they can't even properly do that, well, that doesn't really make them a victim. That just makes them irresponsible. Some may even argue negligent. And breaking news, 16 minutes ago, mine posted this. He says, a closure to this elaborate NFT theft. Their website, Facebook, and Twitter are down, yet their Reddit is still up after I have reported them. My art is still up there. How slow can you thieves be? Let me just clarify. I don't think he means like those platforms are all down, like they've deleted their accounts. I think he's talking about the artwork. His artwork has been removed, uh, except not from Reddit. And that's pretty much the situation. However, there's a little bit of legal talk here I'd also like to comment on because... Well, it's fun. I like talking about that stuff. So I'm not a lawyer, obviously, but let's read this or at least skim through it. This guy, Dark Slayer, says that he's not an expert or a lawyer, but he's been studying digital law in school. And he says, once the art was fixed, they have copyright benefits. You have legal standing to get a lawyer. If it's not officially copyrighted, though, simple removal on there and within the lawsuit. And I'm going to scroll through this. I'm not going to read the rest. I'm just going to share my opinion as we read this. Uh, as we see time and time again in civil suits, it comes down to damages often, right? So if mine could prove that he has some sort of damages here, whether it's a loss in commissions because of this, reputational damages, things like that, he would have more standing to get a lawyer and it would probably go better for him. But if he can't prove that there are actual damages from this, it probably isn't worth it. Now, I'm not saying that there is or isn't. I'm just giving my opinion. And mine knows the situation better than I do. That's just my two cents. Actually, adding on to that, I thought about it a little bit more. The reputational damages part's interesting because hypothetically, hypothetically if the whole gun mania website is a scam and now mine's artwork hasn't excuse me has been involved with it even though they've removed his artwork some people might think that he's associated with this website and from what i've seen gun mania has not issued a formal statement saying like we have nothing to do with this guy he's not involved with us in any way shape or form so maybe there is an argument there to be made about reputational damages too just the thought again i'm not a lawyer just my opinion it also makes you wonder this whole thing, like if there's any other artists that are also getting taken advantage of like this, whether it's with this website or a different website. Ugh, man, artists have it pretty rough out there. Anyways, if you'd like to support mine, you can find them on Twitter at lol lay the cake. Kind of. I mean, you can see right there. I also have it copy pasted in the description for you. And you can check him out on his website as well, minehk.net. Check out his designs and things like that. Maybe you want to commission him, whatever it may be. If you want to support him, you know where to find him. He's put a lot of effort into this stuff too. Like you can see this character, the judge, and then he even shows more concept art and everything like that, the whole nine yards. This is again on his website, minehk.net. Just one of many characters. Your stranded land, more of grit, the one they took and renamed Congo. Like, man. 
This stuff looks like it would be straight in a video game or something. This is pretty high quality stuff, man. I'm impressed. Hey, that's the profile pic, isn't it? That's his profile pic. Silky. Hey. Right, wait, Navy or Silky? He's part of the Navy. His name's Silky. Yeah, I think so, because it's like Artist Blaze, Criminal Virgil, Artist Blaze. Wait, she's got two designs. She can turn into a fish? What? Kind of reminds me of someone we know. Oh, and for those of you that are into, like, those monster girls, he's even got a tentacle waifu. Mare? Mar? Mary? Dude, if I keep looking this stuff up, this is going to be like a 30 minute long video at least. This art is sick, man. Keep up the good work. Uh, again, for anyone watching, I'm going to link this all in the description if you want to check it out. And to those watching, as always, thank you very much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this segment, and I look forward to catching you in the next.